Hi, uh, this is an app I made, an iPhone app that I started ages ago, I think before I even had an iPhone, just it was an iPod touch thing. So it's called Dinosaurs and Other Prehistoric Creatures, and there is a picture of a generic dinosaur. So here's, uh, here's sort of the basic idea is there's some tabs along here, and we can, you can sort of like move them up and down and it will animate the dinosaur. Um, now as you can see it's not it's not a very satisfying animation at the moment um, but the idea is that you could sort of do more than one and you'd be able to sort of make his little hands go and just sort of have fun with it really, it's for kids really. So um, and now you can see now the animation I didn't want to just sort of pre-program I wanted to have it based on inverse kinematics which means I chain I chain some components together and then that lets that means I just pull the end and the rest sort of follow it around and so that's the basis of all of this so it's a half finished inverse kinematics engine so it doesn't work properly as you can see so here is here's, here's me trying to make this little guy jump it just kind of gets a bit messed up, but that's more because I haven't figured out the right coordinates. There's his mouth. I am a triceratops. I am. Um, this one's got a little bit of token background in it, but not really much. Here is a plesiosaur because obviously my father, being the world-renowned plesiosaur expert that he is, I thought I'd get his. I'd have to put a plesiosaur in here. So um, here is his fins flapping which I think looks quite nice and if you sort of grab the head now you wouldn't be able to this is sort of debug developer mode but it was just to try and figure out what the coordinates are that I need them to be but it's sort of quite good the way you can sort of bring the head around and sort of make little poses um, here's a stegosaurus with his tail and here's a pterosaur a pterodactyl if I'm not being pretentious um, and so you sort of see his little arms and feet can go up and he can go um, but the problem the problem is um, that the, the sort of wings, you see these wing tips that are supposed to be attached they, they because they branch off from the hands so the hands sort of I wanted the hands to be able to sort of go up and down, but then that means that the wings sort of branch off, sort of two separate things, um, which then means that so it only goes that far up the wings, but that it should all be attached. Believe it, it's just not because uh, I haven't figured out the mat, the the maths. Um, so there's a last screen with some little videos on that you can play to see how it got made, which I thought you know, maybe you're interested in that sort of thing, and. Um, just to prove that it's all drawn, here is the here's the, the artwork for it. Um, so you can see that's all sort of physically drawn, and then I cut it out and scanned it all in, sort of, and sort of cut it up. So I cut it up fidget, digit, uh, physically, and then sort of prepared the assets digitally. Um, but you know, I'm not as good a dinosaur artist as, as, as that guy, John Conway, but um, uh, so I don't think I'm ever going to finish this, Sorry. well maybe I'm, I don't know, it depends if anyone watches this video and goes, I want that up. <laughs>